I'm just gonna crank on it, see what happens. No idea. Okay, here's our second installment of uh, us destroying the space-time continuum here at Chad's Fab. We had so much video from finishing up Grizz that we had to break it up into multiple deals and there's so much work and we did uh, so many hours on this that wanted to at least show a small part of what we did for those who are interested. But uh, we would have liked to have gotten this out sooner, but with everything that was going on, with all the time we spent getting ready for the off-road games and uh, being at the off-road games, uh, this was just the best we could do. Well, hope you enjoy. Okay, let me sit down for a sec. Let me group. We need about two more of those. Spaps. Blowers. Oh, those Two. blowers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that goes without saying. Oh wow! Look at that. Woohoo! I was worried about that. Okay. Um, Tennis here. Be on your best behavior, man. We'll tell her. Yep. <laughs> we'll tell her anyway. <laughs> hey, Kate. Hey, Kate. No more swearing. Tennis here. Mother. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we'll know after you put 45 gallons in it. <laughs> uh oh. You want to enter the intake valley? No, yeah, don't do that. Oh, good. What do you got? Yeah. Hey, but it's gone. Yeah. Good to put an eyeball on the bolt. I don't even see it. Oh, did you drop a bolt into that? Yeah. Found it. Let's go ahead and push it over and let's see if we can get this boom on. Good. Should have. Mm -hmm. might probably hit the winch though. Keep going. What do you load test on? <laughs> the one I cover there. Oh, we need to go back. Yeah. Um, okay. How much room do we have between that and the headache drop? Four inches. Oh, okay. Do I need to go back up? Yep. Okay, we're touching. Watch okay. your hands, Chad. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm... Yeah. I'm... We need to power it up and raise this boom up a little, and then that'll let this come down, mm -hmm. and that'll give us more room right there. That's oh, extending oh, out. Yeah. That's it. Oh that's yeah, it. it's going down. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Right Where are we? Uh, right there. That's it. We just need to come my way. Three right. inches. Just yeah. three inches. Okay, let's probably just, yeah, let's get a drift in it. And... So we have two drifts? Oh, look at you. This is kind of heating this up. Where's the instructions for this? <laughs> oh, we still need to go. <laughs> we need to go back and driver. Well, we need to go towards the cabin and driver. Or sorry, forward and driver. Yeah, are we gonna have enough room on that phone? Yeah, we're all right. Yeah. I'm gonna go stick on the oh. We need to move this over. There we go. There we go. Now we're in the ballpark. This side is to go forward or okay, the just, back just a hair. All right, leave that bunch in there, Dustin. We'll kind of pirouette around that. There it goes. Oh my gosh, you guys have destroyed the paint. Made you feel good for a little while, anyway. Stacy spent so much time worried about my chips on that. The aluminum was all rough <laughs> <laughs> in it. <laughs> She's trying to get maximum mileage out of the paint, you know. That is that it just it didn't um, sit on the as high as I thought it was going to. Yeah, the headache rack kind of puts everything in a little different proportion. Yeah. 
It's still way higher than Paul's. Paul's, the fulcrum's clear down under the bed. But Is it? Yeah. Well, it looks good. I like it. I like it. And that and winch, winch holds up look, well. It looks great. <laughs> the winches are resistant. I don't see those even being in your way because they're going to be right behind your head. Yeah. 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 You have a design for this, Chad? We'll get started on it. You want to come off of the front or the back, the face, or do you want to come <laughs> off the top? I think um, off the top. Yeah, we got quite a bit of room, so we could do whatever you want. Do you, what do you think about just like some two by two or some of that? It might have two by four that we could lay kind of come up and over and down. Yeah, we could. Yeah, we might even be able to go all the way across. Do we have enough two by four to I do? Do you want to do like a two forty fives? Is what you're thinking? We got a whole whole other oh, stick. Oh, we got yeah. plenty. Perfect. He just told you guys you could do whatever you want, and you keep asking him what he wants. He said, "Do it whatever you want." Uh, whatever he, when he says whatever we want, it's. Yeah, within yeah. his reason. Yeah, I mean, within his reason. Are we bringing some of those back down to you guys? No. We're better up there. Alright, you might as well go all the way up and extend it. That's the whole thing. See how crazy we can make it. Are those two balls? <laughs> we have enough food. Oh. Fourth of July weekend, you can go park it at the end of the driveway with a flag. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or if somebody's, you know, builds a um, a shed and they put the roof on it and they forget to do something with the walls and the roof falls over <laughs> and you have to have somebody come over and pick the roof up off of it. That's that work. <laughs> yeah, that would work for that. <laughs> yeah. That's a purely theoretical. Theoretic, theoretical. Like are you are you very very for experience? No, I'm just saying. Like that. Chad's found oh, off road recovery oh, and uh, <laughs> farm <laughs> raising. <laughs> yeah, Grizz needs a little more lead in his grips to do yeah. yeah. barn raising. Yeah. I think I'd leave it about that high and then just retract it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Might be a little dry there. <laughs> 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 Probably the first time that thing moved in years. Where would you grease it? Oh, there we go. There you go. <laughs> I extend it all the way out and then put some on it. And, uh... Will you go grab the batteries there? The batteries? That's why we can put them right above the frame. You don't want to jump with it in your hand because of how much. Oh, yeah, they're heavy. Yeah. Yep. Well, he's putting that tray. Oh. Very important. Good. Oh, yeah. You got room to spare. Good. I was supposed to grab that. <laughs> More power tapping here.
perfect. No tap confirmed. We're countersinking these so that the tray is smooth for the batteries. And uh, we've kind of got it rigged up. Countersinker? Yeah, the countersinker's on there. Uh, we had it just right on the drill, but you couldn't get into these corners. Found an extension that is kind of working, but got to be careful not to break it. So, <laughs> slowly but surely. It looks like you got several of them done. Yeah, we're about halfway. We got f four more. Now that we have the blower on, it's time to get the throttle body on. Got the final revision of the throttle body spacer that Kenner printed for me. It'll angle the throttle body. Let's see, it'll angle it like that. So it's uh, away from the fan. We can walk up to the front here and you can see. Couldn't buy what you wanted? Nope. So this is the oval pattern Whipple uses with their Ford, like the Coyote based stuff. But there was no way to make that oval throttle body uh, clear the fan because the fan sits about right here. We got the fan off so I could do some other things. So we had to angle this and then we used a big LS style throttle body and then we could mount it sideways like so. And that will clear the fan and then we can run. There's just enough room to sneak the throttle cable through here. Oh, nice. So you had to go from an oval to a circle? To a round, yep. Yeah, so Kenner did a pretty good job modeling that out. To, so it made a pretty good transition. Nice. Yeah. Get this whole sandwich together and uh, that part's done. What do you have left before you're ready to start it? Nothing. Nothing else. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I got to cut this fuel line. This is just an insulated cover that I put over it to help protect it. I got it marked right there. We'll get that cut, put the fitting on it. I'll pull the line out to, to do it because it's a little easier to do it on the bench and then I can blow all the goo out of it. Really, I need to get the belt on the blower. Batteries installed? Batteries are in, oh yeah. Speaking of batteries, the guys at Full River Battery sent me a pair of their full throttle batteries right there. Uh, these are Group 31s. These things are heavy. They're AGMs, still a lead acid, but uh, AGM. What do you think they weigh, like 90 pounds or better? They're probably 10 or 15 pounds heavier than your normal Napa Group 31. These are super I nice batteries. I should have them before we put them on. I could have told you that. There you go. <laughs> oh, I was just kidding. I, I was fine. No, nope. hold it back on. No, no, no. Come on. <laughs> you brought it up. <laughs> Let's, see <if> you <laughs> Let's see if you can do one in each hand. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I could do them. Anyway, they're heavy. <laughs> For a wimpy old fat guy like me, they're heavy. But they're uh, dang nice batteries. Big thanks to them for sending them out. Go check them out at fullthrottlebattery.com. And uh, we have a promo code there. And it's right here. Because you can't remember them at all. <laughs> I can't remember. I'd have to look. I think once we get those couple of those cables ran, then we'll have power to everything. Let the smoke out of it. Hopefully. Hopefully not, because I can't put the smoke back in. Because it doesn't run without the smoke. Okay. And then you got the profit. That's what kind of smoke we want to see come out of it, Chad. Yeah. Talk about your thing. Huh? We got what built back here? What we can hey, no. back here. It's the boom, boom bracket, boom. It's a, the boom, it's boom. holding the boom, me boom. up. Yeah. It's holding me up right now. Yeah. The yeah. boom. It's the boom bracket. mount. There, what do they call it? A boom base? A, a boom base. Boom support? Boom support. No, I like boom base. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. boom, base. boom, boom. <laughs> yeah, that sounds a lot more official. The thingy that holds the boom from going down more yeah. into the winch and beating the tar out of the back of the truck. Something like that. No pun. I don't. I mean, it's tar. too. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I forgot. I forgot we had a tar here. So. <laughs> yeah. That was a poor choice. I to bring that up. <laughs> Didn't even think about it. It's a little too late in the day to be thinking clever. Brain functions a little minimal. It is. Well, we're gonna pull a vacuum on the cooling system and see if it's sealed. 
What do you think? Is it? It looks like it should be. Looks can be deceiving. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> There. Well, that's promising. I had no doubts. <laughs> I'd like oh, to yeah. say similarly. It's a, uh, well, it's a needle one. Nope. No. Okay, I think we're good. Uh, yeah, I'm fairly impressed actually. <laughs> Can you apologize to all of us that had something to do with those lines that you thought were going to leak, please? <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank you. You're welcome. It's okay. <laughs> Andrew's buffing again. Oh boy. Making it beautiful. This thing's pretty hammered though. Make yeah, but look at how much better that bigger. looks well, than that. Never, up here never looks bad. This part was bad. We'll see what we can do with it. Giving it a go. Getting last minute things wrapped up. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, I haven't. Come in. Oh, come oh, aboard. Come you. Oh, Look man, how good it looks. Yeah. Minus the Run. bag of parts. Oh, she's coming along. He even went ahead and put down dust mats. She looks great, and you can see out the window even though she's cracked. It's a Utah crack. We'll get her fixed. Out the back window. All the knobs are on. I know. Isn't it beautiful? Glove box door. It's it's finished inside because it's got the Chad's fab stick. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it takes, huh? Here's the list, and we leave in 36 hours. Uh, yeah. 40 hours. Everybody's somewhere. You guys leave. Yeah. Corbin. Everybody's here. Tail lights, batteries are hooked up. We just need to tap them and make sure they're all good here in a minute. All right, we, I think we've got all of the battery cables hooked up. Um, we got all the winches connected. Everything's all connected here through this bus bar. Um, there's power up to the front, um, power to in the console. There's cables everywhere. So now we just wanna hook up the negative cable you have one sitting there, so just be really careful. Yeah, to our full throttle batteries here. And hopefully we don't have a repeat of what we did on Matt's wrecker. The smoke coming out, it'll be as big a surprise to me as it is to you, so. Whoa, whoa. what was that? Something. Something. Hmm. Oh, good. Ooh. Oh, is that just the tap sound? Did I could hear a spark. Yeah, there's a little spark from uh, charging up all the electronics, so. Oh. Yep. Okay, we're good. We both of them, or do you have to, one will be? We'll have both of them hooked up, so. Okay, cool. I really like these full throttle batteries. I was really impressed with them on uh, Matt's Wrecker. When we did all that work on it, it didn't run for uh, most of it. We had the key on, running compressors and everything for three or four days, and never once did the batteries die on them. I want to make sure I, I have the same kind of thing, in case the alternator dies, or running all these winches and everything, so. Uh, we got the boom mount. Done-ish. Tyson and Dusty aren't very happy with it, they, so it will get revised. We will put a piece of plastic right here so that this doesn't wear through here. But for now, it's awesome. Tail lights are on, and again, these are just temporary because we don't know what's gonna happen here. So these are just some that I took off of Gonzo. Fuel tank's all in, all the fuel system is plumbed. We got our vent with a rollover valve, it's all plumbed. The kill it list, the last minute yeah. list. Last minute punch list here, so uh, well, the grill will be one of the last things we need to do in the cooling fan. Why is that? The grill is because I still have the intercooler plumbing I still need to tighten up. And that's all, some of that's behind the grill. And then also having the grill in place, it's just a longer reach to the motor and you know, I'm kind of short. And the fan, it doesn't have a fan shroud yet, so I don't want to be just losing any of my hands or digits or anything after it gets started, so. Which brings us to the next thing. This It's uh, Tuesday. Tuesday at four o'clock. Four o'clock. <laughs> we have to be in San Hollow one o'clock tomorrow for our uh, orientation for the tow truck exhibition. So 
Alan from uh, Yankum Ropes is going to be leading that and he sent us an email a couple of days ago that we got to be on the road with this truck in what's that about 16 hours from yeah. now and it still hasn't ran it just plain flat has not ran now that I've got the batteries hooked up I can uh, flash a tune in it as long as everything works okay across my fingers it's been a lot of hours a lot of hours with no sleep yeah a lot of hours with no sleep see my bags <laughs> I may never recover from this week the so now we got to pressure test the fuel system there is a lot of fittings in the fuel system with the dual fuel pumps and everything so we need to get that all leak tested set the fuel pressure we don't have coolant in the motor yet we haven't done that and we haven't put any coolant in the uh, intercooler system because all the fittings are still loose hi why are you down there I'm ready to test the fuel system so can you hurry up <laughs> I'm kind of long-winded, so it's been several days since we've done an update, and we've done, there's probably been 200 man-hours put in this since Saturday, so it's been crazy. Oh, did you show the hood being on here? Yeah. And the hood actually latches now. We had to do a little bit more. Yeah, we had work. to have the hood latch to uh, figure out the air filter, so if that was Yeah. That. Oh, yeah, oh, that's a big old air filter. Yeah. Yeah, and believe it or not, it clears the hood. It yeah, does. It, it touches no. the hood here. Just barely. Just yeah. barely. But it clears on that side. Yeah. Somehow. Score. Yep. Look at that. Oh, yeah. and uh, yes, just because I'm from Utah doesn't mean I have to have a broken windshield. That windshield will get replaced here fairly soon. So. That, we wanted wait, to that, that's, that's a Utah thing? Apparently. Seems to be. Because <laughs> Matt and Paul and Rory and Robbie <laughs> all seem to have not just like kind of broken windshields they're like exploded and barely see through them kind of broken windshields so we wanted to replace this one we're just pulling flat out of time <laughs> yeah and it works and it cleaned up okay so we're gonna run it yeah yeah pretty much that's good enough. Yeah, well, let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, pressurize this fuel system and oh. see what we get. So, Kaden, you want to run the switch and watch everything up here if you see something. You got leaking. the crossover snapped in. Crossover snapped in. It's snapped in. Good. Okay. Um, so you watch that. You're running that. I'll look underneath, Dad. If you want to watch the tank area. Here we go. We can hear it. You're making pressure. Yeah, we are. You got pressure? Well, you can just hear it make some pressure. No leaks. Really? I'm not seeing anything. I don't, I don't know what the regulator said out of it. It's turning everything. Well, the pump's working a little bit. How many threads are showing on the regulator? Uh, five? That would be in the ballpark. Really? Nothing? Nothing. And there's definitely nothing leaking up here. Yeah, and I'm not smelling fuel. I just, I'm just totally dumbfounded that it's not leaking at the regulator. We are literally, I don't see a drop anywhere. Definitely here at returning. Hey, we probably ought to rig up something so we can check our fuel pressure. I got this little doomahickey to check our fuel pressure. Okay. So I'm missing one fitting to be able to put this gauge up on the motor. So for now, I'm just going to unhook the second pump. Oh. Yeah, it's still got pressure. <laughs> yeah, it does look well, we got good pressure. Got three or four pounds of that. Huge mess. Here's another. I think I'm about to get drift on down there. Yeah, Keen, you might want to. Oh, yeah, be back. I'm, I'm under the cab. Yeah, He's no, fine. You're good, but... <laughs> okay, go ahead and uh, kick that pump on. Oh, okay. Tatum, that's you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Q stage left. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Oh, there it goes. The cage. That's only got 20 pounds. Oh, that's leaking. Hold on. Are you checking for these leaks? Yeah. I just induced one. Yeah, we had no leaks though until you. Yep, till I made it. Okay, try that. How many pounds of fuel pressure should you have? Oh, probably 58. So we only got 18. So we need um, to turn that. This is on the wrong pump. Does it, would it matter which pump this is on? He oh. left on that other pump he tried. Yeah, you apparently put it on the right pump, otherwise we'd have fuel going everywhere, so. Oh yeah, don't move it. Well, don't move it. It's a good thing that I changed the relay. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. <laughs> I didn't either. I forgot what we did. Yeah, yeah, we would have had a... <laughs> yeah, we would have had a pretty good... <laughs> Stream shooting clear up to Kian. <laughs> oh yeah, I would have made a big old mess. Yeah, you would have been wearing gas for sure. <laughs> Thank uh, you, I don't want to be gassy. Let's see. Here's this. 
You want to loose back it up, back off that nut. The fuel pressure regulator. That's 54-ish. Okay, 50. cool. That's good. We'll call that good. I'm happy with that. Now we can check okay. for leaks. Okay, go ahead, Kayla. Okay. No. Seriously? Not up here either, Caden? No, I wouldn't expect there to be any leaks up here. Why does the pump just stay powered on? Wouldn't it pressure? Oh, because it returns. Yeah. Yeah, and we got the relay jumper. Yeah. Mm. So that's what Caden's doing is turning the power on and off to where the fuel pump gets powered from. So. Okay. Wow. Just that switch. Yeah, there is no leaks. The only thing that's leaking is this stupid gauge. <laughs> and it leaks like, like a sieve. Oh I'm literally, yeah. normally, yeah, half the time here. when you do this too, you cut the line and where you roll the end on, they'll leak. And yeah. it's not even leaking in there. Do you know they cut it with a grinder disc? Yeah, that's, they, with the desk. <laughs> that's, what we, that's what we normally do. When we do this on customer cars, we'll get generally one that leaks. And we this has over double the fittings of a normal customer car, and not one is leaking. Cool. This is awesome. Well, one thing went really good. Yeah. We'll get a tune in it, and I think, and I one think Dusty everything. And Tyson get, gets yeah, you to start. Yeah, there's a couple people that'll put a lot of time in this that uh, really need to be here when we start it. But we're gonna do some other things till they show up. Dusty and Tyson specifically. While I'm waiting, I'll get this tune flashed in, make sure I have cam and crank signal, and make sure I have power that the coils and injectors. If I do, it should start, so. We'll see what happens. You got your tune in? I think so. We'll see what happens. Did the TPS auto set and that passed finally. I think we're good because I think I had signal from all the sensors and everything seemed to be good. So we'll see what happens. Let's see. And we got Tyson here and Andrew's here and Dusty's here. Everybody's here to watch the start. Yeah. And Kaden. Really? Did my laptop Yeah, that's oh, crazy. And Ali's here. Well, I guess I'll plug it in. Yeah. Uh, we'll see if it starts. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Very long no. I know. Yeah. So the fuel pump's you just kicked on, it, so that's a good out. sign. Yeah, yeah I just gotta get this. Well, so we we close that with so we can monitor please. the oil pressure. Because <laughs> if that solenoid isn't set up right, it'll blow the oil filter off. I was gonna crank on it, see what happens. No idea. The tallest one climbs up on the shelf. <laughs> Yeah, for like okay. 400 RPMs of cranking. See if we got uh, injector bolts and oil signal. Okay, I got one of each right here. Okay, let's see. I guess this is probably that one but for the injector. Let me go over and finish it really quick. Mm -hmm. And I'll know as soon as I get the email. It kind of smells probably. like it's already taken a gallon of gas. That might be its problem. Flooded it might be now? flooded now. I can hold this it right here and we like can just crank it real that. quick. Yeah. Just don't go for very long. I don't like being right here next to a motor when it starts. <laughs> Especially when it's... I think it's going to start. Are you scared it's going to jump out at you or something? Yeah, it's going to the fuel pump. 
Fuel pump's unhooked now? Yeah. Yeah, because it might be flooded. Okay. <laughs> Wait, did you... Hey. Yeah, that's good. We got injector pulse, but no coil. We don't have coil, really? No Where's coil? your coil tester? Right here. Okay, try again. Yeah, coil's not going, but it's firing like it does. Yeah, maybe it just doesn't like the Noid light. Pop that back out. Let's check the test light, make sure we have power. Yeah, the Noid light was good on the injector pulse. Yeah, injector was firing like you would think. We got power. Okay, so we're probably good then. Does it sound like it's trying to start? Yeah, oh yeah. It's just like out of time. So try again? It's like, yeah, like the timing's way off. Clear? Yep. Yeah, the timing's off. Makes me want to spin, grab, and reach back to the firewall and send the distributor the way it sounds. Oh, what else So we got the tune stuff figured out thanks to Ryan over at Jolt Industries. He's the guy we got the harness from. Yeah. And it was he was nice enough to call us after he's done with the scout meeting. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, let's see, it was 10 o'clock his time when he when he called us back, so it was pretty awesome of him. He gave me the information I needed to uh, get this thing figured out. <laughs> oh, I'm a Chevy guy, so I wired up the coils Chevy way, and it's a Ford and it's backwards, so. I got the injectors right, but I didn't get the coils. Yeah. Number one. You thought this was number one coil? I know it's not. Number one coil's over here. Because on a Chevy, it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On a Ford, it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> and he knew that it was a Ford. He just wired it, not remembering. But yeah, it really was, probably... was thanks to Ryan that we figured that out because he started asking some questions. And then I was like, well, that's not it. And as soon as Dad hung up, it was like 30 seconds later, he's like, I think I know what I did. Check this. <laughs> so, yeah, like I said, sometimes you just got to talk to the right people to get the brain working again. So, mm -hmm. too many 3 a.m. You gonna give it a go, or are we waiting for a minute? Uh, let's see. I think we're good to go. Make sure this is gonna stay communicating. Okay, and we're live. Really? Oh, there's the pump. I'm like, we had no power pump. sensor on this one right below the water pump there's a oh wire. it's that one that has that runs yeah well i just heard a little click I so i'm guessing that yeah. yeah so i'm guessing that means it wasn't plugged in all the way let me double check all these coils they're all in right all right well let's try it one more time Yeah, because it backfired up the exhaust. Oh, it did? Mm -hmm. I have no idea. One more go? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you I just went to... Reflash it? I just went to the Godzilla. Oh, just the Godzilla stuff on the Holly rather than the custom? And then the custom, so. <laughs> <laughs> you want the fuel pump? 
Yep, fuel pump. Oh, that's why I died. Fuel pump was disconnected. Well, it's probably, I don't know what I got the idle settings at or anything. So. Wow, I like that though. Yep, there you go. Computers are so fun. Yeah, it's just weird that it would not work, but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's started and it sounds good. I like the way it sounds, that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, that is amazing. Um. Sounds like something's. Oh, uh, yeah, we got a trans leak. I wonder if one of the cooler lines hasn't snapped in. Great. Oh, it took it a second. It didn't, the fuel pump wasn't on until it cranked for a second. It's a little slow. Oh, I know what it is. What? what is it? This didn't save. What is that? Fuel trims? This is the after start fuel. Let's just fix the transmission. I'm going to go through this whole thing and figure out what in the. All right, so this is what? Take. I don't know. I lost three. track. Three, six, 12, 15. Well, this is the third time we've officially rolled it back and said we're going to start it. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I don't. But you can count all the other takes as a bunch of others. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, and we're up to 11, looks like 1108. So yeah, 11, we're 11. leaving in 1111. That's oh. a lucky number. Fire this thing. So fire it right now before yeah. the clock changes. Let's go. <laughs> it's going to go. Okay, well. Oh, and we did that. fix the trans leak in between all this, too. Oh, yeah. So. If we didn't show that, yeah, the trans cooler line broke, so. Yeah, it didn't show up. We'll just say it's fixed. <laughs> Okay. I'll take it. That's huh. way better once you get all the... Yeah, when all the settings are in it. So all was there a maps. bunch of things missing in it then? Yeah, there Did was probably space? Six, six maps uh, that weren't... Uh, I don't know if I got his face. If he turned started? around, I got his face. If that he was, didn't, was... there was some pure joy coming yeah. out of that. <laughs> I haven't seen that in a week, so... <laughs> So it's at least a lot closer. We've still got fine tuning to do. Yeah, it's way better. Cool. Way better. So we're gonna go test a few other things and see what we can find out. And we'll get back with you in a minute. Okay, thanks for joining us today as we uh, continue to damage the fabric of time. But that takes care of it for today. Till next time, remember, a failure that keeps you humble is way better than a success that makes you arrogant. Thanks for watching. Stacy, Caden said SOL.